Are you tired of all the manual clicks you have to do for CS investing? Does your doctor tell you to stop clicking so much? Or you might have to amputate your arm? Well then this is the video for you my friend. Now today I'm going to be showing you the latest and greatest tools available to my fellow CS investors. But buckle up because I want to cover all bases so this video might be a bit longer than usual. Now let me be clear, I did not design these tools, I only use them and will credit them either in the description or in the video itself. Now all of these tools have been tested by many community members to ensure their safety so your precious skins will not be stolen. However, I will tell you something on software I don't recommend you use at the end, so stick around if you uh, want to find out about that as well. This video will be divided in a few different sections, so everybody can decide what they need, so feel free to skip to whatever part you find interesting. That being said, if you enjoy any part of the video, do hit that like and subscribe, because I'm giving away an AKS mod at 2k subscribers. Now, the different sections we're tackling today are websites, browser plugins, and full-on desktop software. Yes, some of those actually exist. But for now, let's start with the website, shall we? Now, first off, of course, you have to have a Steam account to hold your investments. With the Steam account, you can log in to many different websites. However, be sure to never input your actual Steam credentials on any other website than Steam itself, as this is a good way to get scammed. You can log on to these websites by authenticating through Steam. Now, my first recommended website will be CS Float. Yes, I do know it's a marketplace, but more importantly, it tracks all public inventories in CSGO. This allows you to find the amount existing of a certain skin or the amount of stickers applied. You can collect this data yourself quite easily, as I've done in the past, or rely on data provided by other people, for example, by people in the CS Market Forum Discord. This helps you to pick proper investments. Now, next up is Buff. I want to mention this because this trading site is leading for market prices. So, when investing, it is normally better to buy on Buff to maximize your returns in the future. Now, again, you can easily log in with your Steam and use a phone number, but do keep in mind if you're from North America, you have to obtain a phone number outside of your region to log in, sanctions and all that. Now, I won't bore you with every other trading site, but there are tons of other good ones out there as well, of course, but we're gonna be sticking to utility sites. So next up for now is CSGO Case Tracker. This site uses the data collected by CS Float to estimate the amount of cases opened in a certain month. This can be very good for relating demand to the price of the cases you would like to invest in. Next up is CSROI.com. This website also allows you to check the average return when opening cases or capsules. You can easily relate this back to how many are opened in a month and see if that price is actually worth it. I don't recommend this to gamble, but it can be a good way to check which capsules, for example, have the most expensive stickers overall. Also, quick shout out to CSGO Stash for being able to quickly find a list of items with prices as well. Makes it easier than looking up every single item in Steam, for example. Now, if you want to track your investments, there are two ways. Either through an Excel spreadsheet, link will be in the description to my own or you use an online tool. Now, for this, either Steamfolio or Price Empire work well and allow you to easily visualize trends in the markets on top of that. This will be a good way to follow your portfolio and it allows for a lot of customization and tracking. I highly recommend you check these out. Now, my final website will of course be today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by SkinsMonkey. SkinsMonkey allows you to easily and instantly trade your skins. And if you use my code Rookie, you can get up to $5 extra on your very first trade. Basically, free money. Or, if you're depositing, use my code Rookie to get up to an extra 35% of balance. Go check them out. Link will be in the top of the description. Right, let us continue with the browser plugins. First off, we'll begin with the CS Float Market Checker. Now, it allows you to quickly see float, skin pattern, and stickers on any skin listed on the market or in inventories. It is for me a great tool when I'm looking for stickered crafts on the Steam market especially. Now next up is Buff Utility. Buff Utility allows you to quickly check the price differences between Steam and Buff, showing you the best deals on Steam or Buff and allowing for the most optimal balance transfer between these two. Quick shout out to Buy Order Planner here as well for allowing you to quickly and easily set up buy orders for multiple items at once. Now the final plugin I recommend is of course Steam Economy Enhancer. Now you can add this to your browser by first adding Violet Monkey as an extension, 
This extension is completely safe and allows you to open and run user scripts easily. You can paste the code or URL from the download page here and you add it to VioletMonkey. Now, it will run by itself and give you more info on all the Steam items and market, as can be seen by these before and after screenshots. Now finally, onto the desktop software. And for the more experienced investors, you all saw this coming, and of course, it's Case Move. This app allows you to easily move stuff in and out of storage units without ruining your wrist clicking 10,000 items. And the best thing, it's completely safe, valid by, validated by the community, and you can even log in without using your user password through the link. As a bonus, it also shows you the total value of everything in your inventory and stash units if you're too lazy to track the items yourself on any of the above mentioned websites or spreadsheets. Now, since it has been done to that, I won't show you how to install it, but I will put a link in the description for someone else who explained it in a video. Now, those were all my recommended plugins, but now I have to talk about some stuff I currently don't endorse using. First up will be Steam Desktop Authenticator. Yes, I know it sounds awesome, having to do all the authenticating from your phone is a bit of a hassle, but it introduces such a safety risk since you're basically giving away your best defense for getting scammed to a third party. It is really not worth it for the time saved in my opinion. Next up is the CSGO Trader plugin. Now there's nothing nefarious about this app, but it causes you to time out a bunch when looking at inventories. And besides, with Steam Economy Enhancer, you won't need it anymore anyway. Now lastly is Steam Inventory Helper. Now I've used this extension for the longest time and I really liked it. But I recently found that they started using your API key without notice. And they just give them themselves access to it. This combined with their past security breaches leave me not wanting to take the risk to use it anymore. And again, all functions of this app can now be performed by the Steam Economy Enhancer anyway, which is a lot safer and also validated by the community. So that is my full list. Am I missing something that you would like to have seen? Leave it down below for the world to see. Also, if you have any questions because I went over everything quite quickly, leave them down in the comments and I will try to answer them all. Also, if you want to stay up to date to this stuff yourself, I highly recommend checking out the CS Market Forum Discord for all the latest news because that's where you get it first. Anyway, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next.